Hello, this is Vic. Welcome to my channel. I thank you for viewing my videos today. I'm in the beautiful city of Christchurch here in spectacular New Zealand in the South Island of New Zealand. And I'm inside the Cattenbury Museum, the world famous museum here in Christchurch. Now on the third floor, there's a very small exhibit of an Egyptian mummy. What is a mummy doing here all the way in Christchurch? How did the mummy end up here? Who is she or who is he? So let's examine its history and, we'll, and I'm going to give you a good review of who this person is and also describe to you the coffin where the mummy is enclosed in. So let's go. This will be a very interesting video. Come on. Okay, let's uh, start our review of the mummy, the Egyptian mummy, by looking at the entrance and you can see the name of uh, the mummy and you can see the Egyptian characters for it Tash Pen Konsu and before we enter here's a description of how the mummy ended up here it was purchased from uh, George Hilton Price a private collector of Egyptian antiquities in London by the first director of the museum here at Cadenbury and it was purchased in uh, 1886 for 24 pounds and in 1988 the mummy was transferred here to Christ Church in the museum it's a very small exhibit you can see right here and it is in a very very noisy place on the third floor unwisely this uh, mummy was placed next to a uh, an area where the youngsters play and the babies and so on and it is in perfect absolutely perfect condition and look what was purchased for 24 pounds I know 24 pounds was a lot of money in uh, 1886 now in 1998 a forensic examination was performed here with the experts involved in Christchurch and a lot of things were discovered about this uh, this mummy it is important to emphasize that the examination involved two things the uh, CT scan and it was non-invasive which means nothing was opened up and nothing was destroyed or touched and the second thing that was performed was uh, the translation of the hieroglyphics that you see on the coffin of the mummy and I will show you much more of this hieroglyphics very very soon When the director of the museum was purchasing this uh, mummy, he did ask Mr. Price as to the origins and all he could find out was that uh, this uh, person lived in Upper Egypt and uh, this person lived during the late Ptolemaic era. Uh, that would make it about 150 before Christ. Now more details, more important details were found out during the 1998 forensic examination. And let's review what uh, they discovered here in uh, Christ Church. What was really discovered was that uh, this body here was of a female about 25 years old that uh, had not given birth as yet. Her heart and her lungs rather unusually were still well preserved and kept inside the body which is uh, an unusual custom for the Egyptians because usually they would remove all the vital organs and insert them into a jar. She had perfect teeth, or very good teeth, meaning her diet was uh, liquid or semi-liquid. 
her hands are crossed over her thighs and her pelvis is crushed in order to fit inside the very narrow coffin. And she is one meter and 47 centimeters in height. They also discovered that she was suffering from arthritis on her knees. As you're looking at close shots of this marvelous, so well preserved mommy here in Christchurch. Now you're looking at the inscriptions on the lid of the coffin and usually these inscriptions are spells for the different gods, Egyptian gods, asking them to preserve and to protect the mummy and the vital organs when this person returns to its afterlife. Now, some of the inscriptions give some details about this person and they, they indicate that she was a noble person by birth, noble. She was a lady of the house, meaning she was uh, overseeing the household. And then she was playing an instrument, sistrum, which is a musical instrument at a temple dedicated to the solar god Amun Re during religious processions. And uh, finally, as we're looking at the last views of this absolutely magnificent specimen of an Egyptian mummy, radioactive uh, carbon dating placed the wrapping of the mummy here at about 185 before Christ, which means that she lived her whole life during the reign of uh, Ptolemy V, who was ruling Egypt at the time, Ptolemy V. Here's the last view.